Tonight, a story of betrayal by public workers in New York City. 18 of them arrested today for stealing identities, some of which belong to people who were dead. All this to get financial benefits during the COVID pandemic. City employees charged with illegally getting those benefits. And all this was discovered, by the way, with an investigation into those illegal and unregulated ghost guns. Wow. Investigative reporter Kristen Thorne live in Lower Manhattan with a story tonight. Kristen. Bill, prosecutors say a Department of Homeless Services employee here in the city was allegedly manufacturing ghost guns out of their home. And in the process of looking into that, that's when investigators discovered this other alleged fraud. In total, five New York City DHS employees, as well as employees of the NYPD, MTA, U.S. Postal Service, and NYCHA have been arrested and charged with conspiracy and other charges. So we're talking 18 government workers. Prosecutors believe between April of 2020 and October of 2021, these employees were responsible for stealing $1.2 million in fraudulent unemployment benefits that were being given out during the pandemic. Prosecutors say the DH employees, they believe, basically spearheaded this entire thing because they had access to the personal information of people staying in shelters. They had access to the paper files, to the electronic files, and they would give that personal information out to their co-conspirators, co and everyone would use it to falsely file for these benefits and get checks in the mail. Stealing the identity of New Yorkers, many of them homeless, and defrauding a critical social safety net program during one of the most challenging times in our histories, in our city's history, uh, is downright uh, shameful, and we allege criminal. Prosecutors believe this group of people were responsible, was responsible for stealing the personal identities of about 170 people. All of the defendants today pled not guilty. We've been talking about bail reform. In these cases, the judge did set bail for almost every one of these defendants because she said she had reviewed the evidence and it was substantial. We're live in Lower Manhattan. I'm Kristen Thorne, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.